Hello YouTube, Steve O'Trucker here. So I do not know if I've done an intro for this or not, as I did do one, if it's a bit awkward this, but never mind. Uh, this is the day after Truck Fest, had an absolutely awesome time. Um, well, yeah, where do we start? Well, what I think I'm going to do is do a, probably a time lapse of the day. I didn't do any proper vlogging as such, just loads of filming and photos and stuff like that. So I'm going to probably stitch all that together. And this will either be the outro or intro, however I work it. So uh, I do apologise if this is the other way round or the right way round, if it makes sense, because it's the day after, it's the Monday. We were going to leave the site today. But we decided to leave around about six last night. I took my brother down to a hotel at, at the Oval, what I call the Oval Services, which is uh, Poddymore Services, and come up to our customer north of Shipton Mallet to load in the morning. Just give us a head start at the end of the day for today. So just loaded, and we're going to go down to Dorchester. Obviously, pick my brother up on route. And he gives me a good excuse to grab a coffee as well, because I was a bit lazy this morning, going to be asked to make coffee. <laughs> I know, I know, that's just laziness, I know, it is, <laughs> I know, uh, I've done, had a big weekend. <laughs> but yeah, I've had an absolutely awesome time at Truckfest, uh, brother really enjoyed it as well, you know, I've, yeah, it's bigger than last year, <laughs> that's all I say, it's shipped to man, it was Compared to last year, there's easy an awful lot more trucks there than last year. It seems to be growing, which is good news. Next year, I'm thinking about possibly going to the Devon show. Maybe. We'll see. Just for something slightly different than Truck Fest. Uh, no offence to Truck Fest there. It's an absolutely awesome show. I'll definitely aim to go again. Probably to Peterborough be my next truck fest or aim for. That's interesting. All these lights seem to be working, so I'll just take it as it's all clear we can go. So we're going for those road roads again that was on my last video to announce truck fest. So it's quite kind of ironic I'm doing my video to announce me being been at truck fest or done truck fest. How we on to pronounce it? And uh, some more news, uh, actually some bad news to be honest, so if I am if I'm showed the intro you won't know about this already, but I'm only saying this just in case I did do show the original intro to Truckfest video, is that I've had my camera stolen, my two, my GoPro and my Sony X, or whatever, 3000, wherever it was, which was actually a very good camera to be honest, I'm not... Believe it or not, not too bothered about the GoPro to be honest, because I had issues with it. But it's still irritating, it's been stolen. Along with a load of memory cards. So, I've had a word with the insurance company just because it was in the garage and because of technical reasons they can't cover it. But luckily I don't get a, you know, a claim on my record, so it hasn't backfired on me checking with the insurance. I've obviously reported it. You know, there's no chance of getting it back, to be honest, so... I'm not going to go through how it was nicked as such, just for security reasons, but... It, it's really irritating. You know, and, you know, it's one of those sort of feelings you get, I know where that was, and it isn't, it's not there, and it's nowhere else, I've ripped literally the house apart looking for it. So, never mind, what's happened has happened, And it's just, yeah, it, it, if you've had anything stolen, you probably know the feeling. You know the gut-wrenching feeling when you go, because that, you know, that's kind of put me behind step. I can't have a frontal camera at the moment. Well, I can, I can use this one, that I'm, but I can't have two cameras running at the same time, if you know what I mean. But the advantage of that, I've ordered myself a new Sony, not the same type as actually the new gen, or it is something Mark II. Looks pretty good, which will become my one-on-one -on -one camera because you can plug in a audio source, which is going to be awesome. So, uh, 
we'll see how that goes and this camera will become my Ford camera and general walk around camera so that's a bit tied down in <laughs> of course that's me to the truck we're all cool we're all cool so we got some more tech coming <laughs> to the channel on the new camera already and I'm very impressed with this DJI actually I was actually going to order another DJI I may still get another DJI Is he filming me? <laughs> Bizarrely, there was somebody filming me through the village. So either it's a trucking fan, or it suddenly really doesn't like trucks going through the village. But the thing, bad news he's got, is the only way into that customer. But hopefully it's just a trucking fan. <laughs> so I all, bizarrely I always think the worst. I need to sort that out. Mentally I always think, oh, what is he up to? <laughs> but that's probably the ex-military me coming out. That's, we always look at things with suspicion. And that's why when I have a little bit of rage about people flashing on occasion, I sometimes get the wrong end of the stick. Because I always think it's the worst. Thing. I know you shouldn't think, I try and always think positively, but naturally that sort of does show a lick a bit, so just so you're aware. But yeah, so we have some new tech because of that coming to the channel, which is all cool. Need to use my retarded it a bit more, I think. Normally I'm quite good, and I'm actually very good with a manual, I'm just re -occur re adjusting back to the auto box still. For some reason with the manual you kind of get into all that, or I know eventually I'll be into it automatically with this again, but for some reason with a manual everything sort of just like using the retarder is so natural in some ways, but then again, you know I know with the auto it should become, but it won't be as quite, I do not like doing that, but I had no real option. Because we're just going for a very tight village, we had the cyclist right in front of us. There's no option to overtake him. He has let us by, which is nice of him for a change. So we haven't taken a tree of us. <laughs> nah, it's just uh, slightly flung off the side. I have to go back up there and polish it again. <laughs> yeah, so back to positive news. You know, truck fest went really well. I mean, there was a lot of people, not because of the channel, but interest in the truck and the company, you know, which I wasn't expecting to be honest. No, I thought it would be one of those trucks that people just sort of walk by and go, yeah. Got a few people taking pictures, you know, which was quite amusing. Bear in mind I was by a tea cab, but equally they were taking tons of pictures of the tea cab, obviously, as well. Which I understand, it's a cool looking truck. But not very practical in most cases <laughs> just because I found out why I was speaking with another driver you know wondering why I was not or why they sort of died out and it's because actually with a 40 foot or 44 foot long they can't do it because they'd be too long because of the nose on them and also not really any lighter either except I'm looking cool Apparently, Vol I need to look a bit more at this. I didn't realise Volvo had the long nose o over here. Apparently, the Volvo one can do forty foot, you know, foot length, you know, our normal curbside length sort of trucks. For layman words, which is interesting. I might look at that actually. Just check that out. Just and just the amount of trucks there are amazing, as you may have seen or you're going to see. What I'll do, I'll cut it to an end in a minute or two, and I'll say adieu, and if it is before the intro, you know, look forward to what you see. I would like to say a massive thank you to all the recent subscribers, it's blown me away. I mean, I've popped up by about, oh, around about 10 subscribers. I don't know if it's because of Truck Fest, because I did have a 
YouTube thing up in the window, or if it's just a natural build up or a mixture of both. Who knows? But if you have subscribed for me from me from Truck Fest, thank you very much. It, it is seriously appreciated. And to all those who have been the original subscribers, yet again, as usual, thank you very much. You know, it, it seriously is very much appreciated your support. And to those who comment on my videos in support, advice, hints, tips, you know, thank you very much. It is always seriously appreciated. Uh, the only reason I don't know to you, I'm besides of maybe writing it down, which maybe that could be an option, I'm pretty bad at remembering. I know that, you know, I had to, uh, I've got your name, is it Stu? I'm probably going to murder it. Uh, I've forgotten your name, but you're from Northern Ireland. You commented, I think, in my last video. Thank you very much for the support. You know, it is appreciated. I'm sorry I couldn't remember your name or I misabbreviated it. <laughs> I do apologise. You know, don't hold me to account. <laughs> So, yes, again, if you like what you see and you haven't subscribed, please hit that big subscribe button. It will do a massive help to the channel. I'll try and remember to put the stuff on the... As I used to do it, I need to start be doing it on the channels, putting on the tags on the channel and all that. So I'll uh, see you in the next one. If you have seen it already, hopefully you've enjoyed it, or if you're about to see it, you know... Enjoy. I'll see you in the next one. Over and out.